Hey guys, Kimberly here, and it has been a hot minute since I have shared anything about my true love, Trello. Literally, the last time I did a video on Trello was May 2016, three years ago. So I'm excited to share an update, how I use it for my business, and you can see already that there's been so many things that have made Trello even more beautiful. So if you'd love to be organized, if you're a visual person, Trello is right up your alley. So I'm going to minimize myself and show you how I use Trello to follow up with my customers. Follow up for me is extremely important. I personally like to be 100% in control of who I am following up with. And I personally like to touch base with my customers once a month. And I will tell you, I have the paid version of Trello, but everything I'm going to show you is available in the free version unless I say it's in the paid version. The paid version, you guys, is five bucks a month. And for everything that it does, it is more than worth the $5 a month because I'll be doing another video that talks about how I use it as a planner and other things. $5 a month is phenomenal. So super basic, what we're looking at is a board. Each one of these gray things is a list and the white things inside are called cards. So we have a board, a list, and a card. It's like a big funnel going down, getting even more specific. So anytime someone places an order with me, they automatically go in my pre-delivery list. Every single person gets their name, the date they ordered, a snapshot of their actual orders, and they get a label so that way I know how they ordered. Let's add in Susie Q. And she ordered today. From here, I can hit enter or return and she'll automatically pop up as a card. If I click on her, she's going to populate and I have a lot more options. So I can add a description, I can add a comment, I can add a bunch of other things. But for me, what I wanna do is I wanna add an attachment and then I would choose from my computer and I would add the picture. If I was on my phone on the app, it'd be the same process. You can actually choose last photo, which is super easy. Um, but labels are really important to me because I'm a very visual person. So I want to know how this person found me. And let's say she found me um, through Cincy.com. And let's say whenever I thanked her, she also mentioned that she was thinking about joining. So I'm going to also put that she mentioned the opportunity. And there you go. I can see who she is, when she ordered, and how she found me. Now, the cool thing about labels is you can actually click on the label and expand it, and you can see everything at a glance. So let's say I now have the shipping information for Susie. I can come back to her card, and I can choose this little pencil, and I can do a due date, which is really important. So change the due date, and let's say it's going to be delivered on the 27th, but I always want to follow the day after. So we'll do the 28th. Save save and so now she has this due day right here but she's still in pre-delivery and she needs to be in day after delivery i can just click and drag her over so you can see i have some people who i need to be following up with we can see these two right here they're pink which means that they're past due these red ones mean that they're due today and the yellow ones mean that they are coming up so let's say that i'm following up and i am moving these people over here into another column now you can see all the dates are not in order anymore. So if you wanted to first, you could click these dots and sort by and then choose due date and it would sort it for you. But for me, I have 12 different lists that I have to sort. So let me show you what Butler can do to make it super easy. It can do it in a push of one button. So you're gonna need Butler in a power up. And if you click on show menu over here, if you on the free version, you have one power up per board. The paid version allows you to have three per board. So you can see I have the calendar and Butler. So you would want to add a power up. Butler's one of the first one that pops up. You can add it. You can see up here, I have Butler. So what I want to do is I'll click on Butler. And the great thing about Butler is it does all of the work for you. You don't need to know any type of coding. You can just pretty much click and choose what you want. And so for what I'm wanting, I want to be in board buttons. So you can see I already have it set up for my previous boards because once you set up in one board, it allows it to be available for all of them. All you have to do is click on create a button and then you're gonna to wanna to look for this one right here. You can see it has A to Z. It looks like it's going to sort something for you. And the first one is exactly what we need. So we want sort cards in the list name and we're gonna do first follow-up by due date, ascending, add. And you just have to come back and do that for every single one, add. Third follow-up, 
add. And as soon as you're done, you name your button. I named mine sort all and then hit save. So once you hit save, you'll have a button right up here, whatever you name it. Like I said, mine is sort all. So now that I am done following up and I've moved things around and things are not in order anymore, just hit that button and watch what happens. And you see it running down in the bottom, it's running, and you can see all of my columns starting to be sorted by their due date. So let's say my customer, Brianne, over here, places another order, and maybe she's further down in the system. She's down on check of seven. I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna type Brianne. And there she is. I can click on her. And then let's say she places another order. I can change the due date and I can put her here back over in pre delivery, move. And you can see now she's back over here. And that is how you move people around. So if you're like me and you want 100% control over your follow up system and you love visual, pretty things, I highly suggest you try Trello. If you don't have Trello, I have a link down below in the comments for you to get a free account. And I also have the opportunity for you to completely steal this board. Just click the link down below. Once you have it open in Trello, you'll do show menu, more, and then copy board. And whenever you do copy board, make sure you choose keep cards. So that way any cards that I'm gonna give you, you can keep, hit create, and you'll have your own follow-up Trello board. Bye guys.